Hello and welcome to this video where I will show you how you use your own custom font inside a mod text component. So as you can see here in the documentation, then the default font inside Modblazer is this Roboto. But if you don't want to go and use this, and let's say that you have your own font that you want to use on your website, then I will show you how you set it up. So the first thing you have to do is to go to the app.css file and you have to remember this is a blazer in .NET 8 and I actually don't remember in .NET 7 and 6 if it is another CSS file that you have to go and edit but you just have to go to one of your main CSS that you're going to use in your project and then you want to go and add this font face so that you actually include the font inside your project and when you create this font face you want to go and specify a font family so it's actually just a name of the font you can call it whatever you want just so you know what font it is and then you want to do this source where you want to say that the url is where the font is actually located so in this case I just go to the www root folder and I created this font folder and if I expand it you can see I have the designer font here I also have some outfit which is all the other font faces that you see here so when you have done that then you can go and implement it to your Modblazer project and it might be a little bit easier if I just go to the website that you can see here because it is within here that I want to go and implement the fonts and in this case I already did it so I just want to show you how I did it and in here if we hit F12 you will get the inspect element and if you hit this little button here you can actually go and hover over and see that this is an H5 so it is the F5 that we want to go and target to have this outfit extra bold font and then I also have the paragraph here which is just going to be the outfit font so the only thing I am interested in is the H5 and the P tag. And just to go to the code so you can see how I specified, I create a mod text component and then say that the typo should be an H5 in the first one. And then I create this typo.body2 and that is actually the paragraph. Then if we go to my main layout.razor file, it is in here. I have the mod theme provider and you don't have to look at this it is another video where I created a switch where you can go from light mode to dark mode and the other way around but what you want to look at now is this theme because we want to go and make our custom theme so it is just a variable called my custom theme and if I scroll down here then what we're interested in to do is to create a new mod theme object and it is within this new mod theme object that in first case I make these palettes to make a dark theme and light theme with some custom colors but then you want to go and say you want to use the typography and this should be a new typography class or object a new instance of the typography object that you want to use and then you can go and override the for example the f5 so you say h5 and create a new h5 class to actually go and override the default one which will contain the roboto and then we just say fund family and create a new array with all the names that you want to have or all the funds that you want to display so if this is not working it will go and take this fund and else it will take this fund and in final case it will take just a random sans serif fund so the paragraph is actually this default where you want to go and create a new instance of default and then you actually just want to go and do the same so it do look like a little much like the css file just with some small syntax differences the final thing i want to show you is just inside the documentation at modblazer inside the customization we have the typography and it's actually from in here you can see all the names so you could see we could maybe actually go and target a body too and it is maybe just so that you have multiple options to choose from that they have done this but else you have from h1 to h6 also you have a button and so on and if you just scroll down a bit you can see it's actually pretty much this that we just did and if we scroll more down you can see there's actually more options here you can set the font size the font weight line height and the letter spacing so i think that's actually it for this tutorial i hope you learned something 
and it'll just go and have a nice day. Bye.